Hello, well, YouTube, welcome back to another episode of From Plot to Plate No Dig Allotment. I'm Carl. If it's the first time you've been here, welcome. And please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can look at how I grow nutrient dense food in my allotment, in my polytunnel, and how I start my plants off in my grow room. So, this is the new grow room for this season, as you know. Many of you that have watched my videos. Uh, known that I've grown these lovely uh, chili plants and I'm really really pleased with these guys look how green and lush they are um, I had an issue about a week ago 10 days ago with regards to the leaves were rolling they were curling up I had some fantastic advice again thank you so much there was a I done a multitude of things some of you were saying to dim the light or lower the light or higher the light and so forth so I've done a lot of things and move things around and it seems that lifting the light and turning the light down slightly, I can on these Spider Farmer SF1000s, just turn the light down slightly, like so, or turn it up right there. But it's on like, I think it's on around about five knots at the moment, and I think it's 10 altogether, so about halfway. And that seems to have stopped this unrolling of the, of the leaves, you know? So um, I'm really pleased with that. So thank you guys for your help. In making that video, where I had the help for the rolling leaves. Um, one of the comments mentioned about actually, I was, I was talking about the, the plants actually producing some flowers already and I was excited. But it's not a good thing apparently to have the flowers this early because they need to set down good roots in their pots first before they can actually produce the flowers because they won't have, the plant won't set the roots down It'll, co it'll focus its energy on producing the flower head which obviously produces the pepper which produces the seed because that's the idea of the plant anyway isn't it really so I was encouraged to cut the flowers off now it, some of these have got like five or six flowers on so I'm like what do I do because I've never done this before and I'm a bit scared so I'm going to bring you in and we're going to we're going to cut off at least half of them with the flowers I'm going to leave the other half on Maybe I'm doing something wrong, guys. I don't know, but it's just, I feel it's a little bit sacrilege cutting all these flowers off. Um, and they probably will bush out, like, you know, they probably will, but I've got enough plants where I can do a bit of an experiment. So I've got the tool. So I'm gonna cut some of the flowers off, some of them, put them to one side and not cut the flowers off the others. And we're gonna see how they go through the season. I'm gonna plant them all, but we're gonna see which one produces best and I'll, be comfortable then knowing that I have got some good peppers either way whichever way works best which I think some of the guys that um, have been growing these for years know what they're talking about so cutting the flowers off I think is the way forward but let's, uh, let's give it a go anyway so I'll drag you in a bit closer so again this is a very healthy plant guys and I just wanted to show you the flowers on them there and I've counted one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly seven flowers there on the sweet pepper. Um, and I'm going to cut them off. <laughs> so I'm going to go at the, the bud of the flower and slice it off. There we go. It's done. So I'm going to take them all off because that's what... Uh, I was encouraged to do. I know it seems sacrilege, doesn't it? It seems sacrilege to me because I've never done this before. So this is all new to me. And there's like, I don't know, another six or seven it seems to be by there. So I don't know if you can actually see me doing this, but I'm just going to try and bring you right in close. There it goes. Off it's gone. There's another one there. Another one there. One more there so that's them done so i'm assuming now the plant will probably bush out from the side and produce more buds and hopefully um i'll get some flowers on them so let's just do one more put that one to one side so i know which is what like i said some of these look taller and a bit less green because these are different varieties but again with this one just show you they are plenty of flowers on you and just turn our around so I can show you guys right you can see the flowers there look so Carlos is going to do what he said he was going to do I can just there we are 
chipped off. It's another one there. It's difficult to hold this and to train. There we go, chipped off. Chipped off. So there's only three there on that one. So it's then two, and there was another one that's got a lot of flowers. Where was it by? Where was it by? Oh, this one by you. Most of them have got a couple of flowers on, but some of them have got seven or eight flowers on, you know? So this one's got quite a few. Again, they're all just like tucked underneath these major leaves. You can just see them budding there, So Carlos is gonna go in and cut it out. Here we go. Oops. Like I said, it seems sacrilege. Look underneath there. Sorry, guys. But this is what the summer you guys are saying this is the thing to do. You know, six I just cut off by there now. I'll put this one by you as well because I don't want to mix someone's which ones I've cut and which ones I haven't. But I'll go through the rest of these now and I'll separate them. Again, like looking over this one now. It's just, you know, there's one, two, three, four, there's five, five flowers on there. Um, so I'll just do this one small, cut them off. I'm hoping that these will spring back into action. They are starting to, to actually come. Notice some of these plants now because I took off some of these bottom leaves on this stem because they were like they were falling over a bit. And, but they've started to shoot side shoots now on some of these plants. So I'm assuming that's what hopefully will happen. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Just took that one over there. There we go. So there's another plant and I've just put that one back over here as well. And I'm going to move these around now, guys, and get all these uh, these heads and these sorted out, and then come bring you back, all right? So these, half of these now have been done, and there's the other half that I'm leaving with the flowers on. I just want to show you that flower there, how well developed it is. And there's one that large one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can see eight on there. So I'm just going to keep that as it is. You can see there's a bit of a leaf roll on that one. Um, so I'm going to turn the light down slightly on our one side because they're under a different light they are they're both spider farmers but the one is like an sf 600 the other one's sf 1000 um and i can control the uh the brightness really of the one and i can't the other so i'm gonna move them around a little bit but yeah you can see there guys plenty of uh good flowers on there so these are gonna stay like i said on some of them so that's going to be it for now. Um, I hope I've done right. Please leave a comment below if I've done it wrong or um, if I, you think I'm crazy. Um, yeah, just give me, just let me know, guys, who think I'm mad. I think I'm mad doing it, to be honest, but I've never grown number four, like I said, so first time. But yeah, I'd love to hear your comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.